I started this vlog about an hour ago um, and I've been waiting at the station for an hour because three of my trains have been cancelled but it's fine, it's fine, we adapt, we overcome, we move on. Um, so today's adventure I am going to be doing some of the five coastal path so I'm starting at Burnt Island and I'm thinking fingers crossed that I'm hopefully gonna make it to Kolkodi. I can't say the Scottish names. Anyway I got a coffee this morning from Lucky Beans. I've been hanging around in the station for what seems like an absolute eternity. It's 9.15 now so we are heading off a little bit later than I would have hoped but it's fine. It's okay. These things happen you know. Um, and yeah we're gonna get to Burnt Island. We're gonna start our walk see what happens it's gonna be a great day we are projecting good vibes the next stop is i was really stupid and i barely bought any snacks apart from my trusty chocolate rice cakes and because i've been waiting around for an hour i'm quite hungry so i'm gonna eat all the snacks now before i start walking which i'm sure is a great idea but i'm starving so fuck it have arrived in Burnt Island, finally. Um, <coughs> oh my God, I've got a peppermint in my mouth and I'm choking. It's very chilly, so I got my hair, it's very cold. I forgot that it would be this cold being by the sea. Um, I just needed the loo and they had no like official toilet in the train station. So the lovely conductor let me use his bathroom. What a nice guy. Okay, sorry, I've just come across like this. this I don't think that's gonna help me. So I'm just gonna follow signs for coastal walk, I think. I'll probably explain a little bit. So basically I've been wanting to do the five coastal path for so for so so long. Um, but it's obviously ridiculously long. Uh, I think it runs from like Queen's Ferry all the way up past St Andrews. Um, and I've done like little bits here and there, kind of accidentally but I do want to make a effort to do all of it in 2022. So that is why on my days off, I'm going to go walk a little bit. So I think it's like a two hour walk today to kill Coddy, as I mentioned. Um, but I've started in Burnt Island. I have actually been to Burnt Island before and it's gorgeous. So I'm not really going to explore around here. I'm just going to get walking and see where we end up. But it's very cute here. What I do love about Burnt Island though is this is like the, um, the town over here and they've got these big hills that run right alongside them and I just think it looks so beautiful. Okay so this right here is Burnt Island Bay. Look how gorgeous that is guys. Oh my god. I would love to live in one of these camper vans and just park up wherever. So I have been this way before and that just takes you around like Burnt Island basically uh, but today we are going to go all the way along here all the way around that bay probably around that corner <laughs> that we can't see because I mean it is two I think it's like two hours and five minutes something like that um but yeah it's I'm very looking forward to it it always baffles me at Burnt Island how clear the water is if it wasn't absolutely freezing I would 100% get in that right now but I will get frostbite. So I've just left Burnt Island. So I'm on territory that I've never walked upon before. And I've just come across this. Somebody has just wrote a joke of the day. I used to nap on my bike, then someone stole the pedals and really messed up my sleep cycle. Like it, it's a really bad joke, but you've got to, got to give them credit they're trying to make people's day so this was something that i was a little bit worried about was what i was going to do at high tide it is it is high tide you can see that so they give you a low tide route and a high tide route which i really appreciate because people like me just won't think of these things so we're going to be going this way however just before we go to the high tide route just want to have a route <laughs> route just want to have a look oh man look that is fucking beautiful. I need to do it my coat. Let's go to the end point. Oh my god. It's breezy. <laughs> Christ, bear with me. Oh guys, check out this. So this is the route that we would walk if it was low tide. Obviously, as you can see. No. <laughs> that is really high tide. 
probably can't even hear me because it's so fucking windy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's beautiful though. Okay, let's get on this one. Do you know I said in my last video that I think I should invest in some gloves? Have I done it? No. No, I have not. I've, I've not. I've not done that though. point in is I've got this beautiful walk that I could have done at low tide I'm up on the road <laughs> I'm hoping that, that that kind of branches down here eventually because I want to be able to see I don't want to be walking through houses but it's fine we can't change it we can't change it so we're just gonna we're gonna appreciate it when we can and we're gonna get back on the road I don't know who Alexander III was or why he's got a monument, but this is the first tourist attraction on our route. There is a little sign here. I can't read that. I think it might be in Latin. I'll find out and I'll insert a little video of future Gracie giving you a history lesson because I don't know why that's there or why it's by a main road, but it must have been important to get a pretty, pretty hefty monument, you know? Hello loves. So this is Future Gracie coming to you with Google and TripAdvisor, where I found out that Alexander III of Scotland was a pretty fucking big deal. You can tell that I didn't like history at school. So apparently the monument marks a spot where Alexander III of Scotland is said to have fallen off his horse and fell to his death below the cliffs. A death that sparked a succession crisis and eventually a Braveheart movie. Uh, it's not much of a monument. No, it's it's not, babe. It's not. But that's apparently what it is. So you learn something new every day. Thank you for coming to my history lesson, courtesy of Google. At the moment, I'm still walking on the main road. But what's nice is that I've like come out of the houses down there because it was just like a bit too residential. And now I'm like walking sort of along by the sea um but i'm hoping we're going to get even closer in a moment because the traffic is ruining my aesthetic guys i know this is a bit weird going into a cemetery but i just feel like at the top of that hill there's going to be a really amazing view So it looks like I get to go down there, which is so exciting. Remember I said earlier about the point that we couldn't see behind? I think we just passed it. So looks like we're getting closer we're still by houses but i have got this lovely little seawalk and there is a little harbor over there by the sun that we're gonna go explore oh this brings me so much joy
so I just went and had a look in that harbour and as I was going round there were these two girls that were um, looking through their telescopes at the Inchcleaf, Inchcleaf, Inch, whatever, <laughs> whatever the sign was, the island anyway, out there and it's got like a lighthouse on it and it actually belongs to the parish of Kinghorn which obviously I am in right now um, but I think it used to be like a military base or something, but it's so cool. Like I'd love to come back and look through a telescope and actually be able to like see the tiny parts of the island. So maybe someone wants to lend me a telescope. Telescope? Or is it binoculars? I'm not doing very well. Maybe I should have saved my snacks because my brain is failing me. So not only did he have a tower named after him, he also had a street. I really hope future Gracie remembered to Google because I have no idea. Okay, so I thought we had done with Kinghorn. I thought honestly that was it. But it turns out this over there is Old Town of Kinghorn. Um, but the, the sign is once again telling me to go this way. So we, we should probably lead down. I imagine it will, it will lead down to the Old Town. It looks super cute though. I just love, I love little seaside villages. I think because I was brought up in one, I just, I just love like the vibe of them. I love how like peaceful they are. So fingers crossed. Okay, so we just left Kinghorn. That was like our first stop. There's a train. Our way, our way. <laughs> what I was gonna say is what's really good about this route is that I feel like they've planned it so well where if you want fewer turns, you can obviously go along the main road. And if you're here for like the more scenic and you wanna see the little villages and they also have that option as well. Um, so both are like equally marked out, which is really good. I think that's really, it's good to take all, all types of people into consideration. Another thing that's handy as well is all along the five coastal path, the train runs. It's obviously like it's a coastal route. So you can never really be lost because you kind of just look for the train track and you're like, oh, should be walking next to that. And then you get shit scared when a train comes along. So anyway, I've just been looking at my Google Maps and I believe that... Our next stop is Kilkadi. Please, Scottish people, don't come for me. Um, so we're about halfway through, which is good. I'm having such a lovely time. This is what I imagined when I thought of a coastal path, like these old <laughs> rickety fences, little coves like this. If we can keep this going, that would be amazing. She won't. <laughs> she won't let go of her mum. Go get your mum. Go get your mum. Go on. Go, 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 go. There we go. walk around the corner I've just spotted this big old boy I don't know what the hell that could be like a castle but why would there be a castle here you know let's go and find out oh my god guys it's times like this where I wish I had a better camera I'm just gonna zoom in for you that little white splodge on that rock is a seal 
I should have bought my better camera. I'm kicking myself right now. And now we're just coming up to old Beastie Boy. I, I don't even, I don't think there's any signs that even tell me what it is. <laughs> like why, why, why is there half a, half a wall here? You know, like these are the things they need to tell you. Oh wait, there is a sign. Let's go read it. Okay, so the signs wasn't for that. It was telling us to not feed the seals. I wonder if I get down there before I can actually... Ah, I'm stuck on a bramble. That's that's really useful. Thank you. I wonder if I go down here, I can take a picture of them. Thing is, there's a couple, there's a couple behind me and they walk really slow and I get really awkward <laughs> when I have to overtake people. Um, so let's, let's go and have a look before they catch up, shall we? Right. Oh my God, this is where I fall and break my neck. Okay. Let's go see if we can see old Celios. Oh, we can't see them. They're literally behind that rock there. What a bummer. That's okay. It wasn't meant to be. They're not meant to be disturbed. This is beautiful though. There's that old beastie boy that we don't know the name of. I'm calling him old beastie boy, but it just, it just feels right, you know? Right, let's get on the path before that couple and their hundreds of thousands of dogs get in my way. <laughs> Guys, I believe that in the distance is Kilcoddy. This is their beach, maybe? Yeah, we're gonna go on it. Oh! sand i just realized i haven't actually been on any sand <laughs> during this coastal walk <laughs> oh this is beautiful man it's like 12 12 p.m now and i'm feeling i am feeling a bit peckish i won't like those chocolate rice cakes really didn't really fill a hole at all um so i've just looked at the good places to eat and there's somewhere called roots and seeds so we're gonna head there have a little relax something to eat and the coffee and then take it from there. Probably we'll just go back home, but I might have a look around Kakodi. I'm not really sure what's there. I've never really even thought to look, but yeah, the heart has been so lovely, but it's not over yet. Guys, we did it, we did it, we're home now. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, edit this vlog for you. Thank you for coming on another little adventure with me. Um, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, all the links are below. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you next time for a little adventure. I'm so tired. I ran up three flights of stairs. <sighs> Thank you for coming. See you, bye.